In the previous video, I showed you how you go from a 16 bar loop that sounds like this. and turn it into a beautiful looking massive DMB banger that sounds like this. And the point of that video was to show that from that simple idea, you can just take elements of it and tweak and make little edits and whatever else and actually flesh it out into a full song. Because it'd be quite difficult to get out of the 16 or 30 two bar loop, you know, and unless you've liked, comment and subscribe to this channel. You know what I mean? You know the tips and tricks by now. In this video, what we're going to do is go through some of the finer edits on the sub bass. I'm pretty sure I also made an intro as well, but it's all captioned down below. And this is a, a much, much shorter video. I just, I, I thought that kind of the edits that I was making would make phenomenally good YouTube content. So here we are, and here you are watching, learning, being inspired. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack into part two of this absolute womper. So we have this idea that kind of goes... And that, that sounds really good. But then what I thought is, well, what if it goes wool, 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 rather than just wool, wool? It was a, it was a brainwave that I've had. And it, it's really, really easy to do that. So all I've done, I've just duplicated the, the normal sub bass. I've then taken the sub bass and soloed it, right? So it sounds like this. And we know that's what it sounds like. And then all I've done is I've just doubled that in in time, right? So it's now now a quarter note. So that that's what that, that's what this one is here. And then what I thought is we still have the little the little like no bass bit, but then it goes wool wool, and then it goes wool 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 wool, and then it goes wool wool, right? So rather than it sounding like this, so this bit here. You know what I mean? That just sounds, that just sounds so, so good. The only other thing that I'm gonna do on this last bit is I just wanna increase some reverb on these perks because I, I, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna sound good. So give it a bit of decay, a bit of low cut, and then we're gonna show the automation here. And where does that wanna go? That wants to go like here and then ever so slightly. And then that could get cut here. And then maybe this little sort of pre-drop vocal or this pre-drop thing. Do you love me? Hmm, maybe I actually, I, I just really like this. I think here it wants to get cut. So then that's just gonna be duplicated across like this. And then that is just gonna be its own. And then here, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do that, right? Because we know it sounds good. And then we got the same kind of thing here. Let's, let's, let's go. Oh, we might as well just try and do an intro while we're here. This wasn't really the, the purpose of this video, but I, I, I just get carried away. I can't help myself. So one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to record this into its own main perk thing so that we can add a load of effects to it. So we can use this in the intro now because one of the cool things that you can do in intros is you can just copy and paste all the other stuff that, that you've done, you know? It's, it's pretty nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, this main thing here and then again, just drown it in reverb, really. Uh, endless Arctic, what a shock. And what I do want at the beginning is I want the main drums like that. But then on these drums, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out a lot of the low. So I'm gonna use an auto filter, swap it around the other way, boost this to about here. And then I'm gonna show the automation because we know 
that we don't want that here. So that's just going to get turned off. And then here, we're going to then push it up. So it's going to go like that. So we're going to show the automation here. And then, I mean, that doesn't matter because it's getting turned off, but then we're just going to push it like this. Make it a bit more extreme. And then maybe what we can do is we could also apply just an echo. And again, just dry wet this bad boy in. Make it a bit slower. Maybe what we could do here is just like range have this just sub bass. And then what I'm going to do is have that duplicated across, but then skip a beat. Let's have this like impact in here as well. Right, so we, we don't want all of this complicated stuff going on here. So we just want it really nice, simple drums. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this sub bass into its own so that I can just turn it down basically, because we don't want it to be as loud as the first drop. Yeah, so I think what we need is like a speech in this bit. The German news agency Transocean said today in a broadcast, we interrupt our program to bring you a special broadcast. The German news agency. Right, so I've got this like kind of cool sounding news thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break it apart into its different sort of like speaking sections, and then we can we can make sure that it's all it's all lined up properly. That can go. You can see here it's just all the dead space. Let me get rid of that. Let me get rid of that as well. So what are we working with? I repeat, the German news. So this bit here needs to get pulled back a bit. And news agency Transocean said today in a broadcast that the Allied invasion had begun. There was no Allied confirmation. And now we've got this vocal here. That, that can get swapped out. Maybe we put that just in here like that. There was no Allied confirmation. Oh, that, I mean, that whole group sounds nice. We interrupt our program to bring you a special broadcast. Yeah, it fits so nice, you know. The German news agency Transocean said today in a broadcast that the Allied invasion had begun. I repeat, the German news agency, Transocean, said today in a broadcast that the Allied invasion had begun. There was no Allied confirmation. I'm just going to compress a bit because it sounds a bit peaky. We interrupt our program to bring you a special broadcast. I'm just going to put a limiter on again because I just worry that it's going to peak. Like. We interrupt our program to bring you a special broadcast. Let's see what uh, this spectral is, is on 0%. So let's see what this sounds like if we turn it up a bit. Interrupt our program to bring you a special broadcast. The German news agency Transocean said that today in a broadcast that the Allied invasion... There was no Allied confirmation. Right, there's a lot of reverb coming from somewhere. There was no Allied confirmation. There was no Allied confirmation. What, maybe what we do is just reduce it like this. There was no Allied confirmation. No, we don't want it at all. No yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I think that is sounding absolutely spectacular. Maybe we want it to go like confirmation, confirmation, confirmation. But uh, some, something like that, just to sort of glue it into this a bit better. Confirmation. We've already got this echo. There was no allied confirmation. confirmation, confirmation, confirmation. I'm gonna make this one a bit quieter because we've got the we've got it playing quite a few times. So we can make that even quieter. Right, let's see how it sounds. There was no allied confirmation. Nah. I mean, I don't really want to be sort of mucking about with it too much because I, I think it already sounds pretty good. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and just, you know, clean it up a bit, do a bit of mixing, a bit of mastering, you know, you know how it is. I really just wanted this to be uh, quite a short video, actually, just with a few tips and tricks about how you can expand a 16 bar loop and turn it into like a full banger. And yeah, that's that's kind of what I've done. So if you like the video, let me know that you've liked the video by liking the video. Make sure you leave a comment, as you know. I like reading them. What else do I need to plug? But this song is probably going to be on my SoundCloud. So make sure that you go and follow me on SoundCloud. Some people have been sending me tunes recently, so I appreciate you. And hopefully you appreciate my brutal, brutal feedback of your music. And um, I think that'll do it for today. So cheers.